In this video, we will learn to find the limit of tangent of 3 times x upon tangent of x as x approaches half of pi. Let us assume L is the limit of tangent of 3 times x upon tangent of x as x approaches half of pi. As x approaches half of pi, tangent of 3 times x and tangent of x approaches infinity. The limit is in indeterminate form infinity upon infinity. So let us further simplify the limit to avoid this indeterminate form. Assume x is equal to half of pi minus y. The above statement implies x approaches half of pi, y approaches 0. Substitution of x in terms of y gives us L is equal to limit of tangent of 3 times half of pi minus 3 times y upon tangent of half of pi minus y as y approaches 0. We know the famous trigonometry identity tangent of 3 times half of pi minus a is, is equal to cotangent of a. This trigonometry identity has been verified in the video appearing on the upper right corner of this video. The link of the video is also given in the description section. We also know the famous trigonometry identity tangent of half of pi minus a is equal to cotangent of a. This trigonometry identity has been verified in the video appearing on the upper right corner of this video. The link of the video is also given in the description section. Application of the above identities gives us L is equal to limit of cotangent of 3 times y upon cotangent of y as y approaches 0. We know Cotangent of y is cosine of y upon sine of y. So, L is equal to limit of cosine of 3 times y upon sine of 3 times y upon cosine of y upon sine of y as y approaches 0. Further simplification gives us L is equal to limit of cosine of 3 times y times sine of y upon cosine of y times sine of 3 times y as y approaches 0. Multiplying the numerator and the denominator of a fraction by a common factor does not change the value of the fraction. So, let us multiply the numerator and the denominator by common factor 1 upon 3 times y. The above statement can be rewritten as L is equal to 1 upon 3 times limit of cosine of 3 times y times limit of sine of y upon y upon limit of cosine of y times limit of sine of 3 times y upon 3 times y as y approaches 0. We know cosine function is continuous at 0. So, at y is equal to 0, limit of cosine of y is equal to 1 and also we know limit of sine of y upon y is equal to 1 as y approaches 0. The verification of this limit value is shown in the video appearing in the upper right corner of this video, the link of the video is also given in the description section. We know as y approaches 0, 3 times y approaches 0, so limit of cosine of 3 times y is equal to 1 and also limit of sine of 3 times y upon 3 times y is equal to 1. By application of the above fact, Application of the above facts gives us L is equal to 1 upon 3. Thank you for being with me. I hope you like this video. Please click the like button and subscribe button. Do not forget to press the notification bell so that you get the notifications of my new videos. Share the video and do write in the comments. I am eager to listen to your thoughts. If you have any question related to video, if you think I should make a video on any other topics in which you are interested, please write in the comments. Thank you.